the beast ultimate edition good morning minecraft and welcome back to the hypermind server i am here today in my own base up on the first floor which isn't finished with benito who's done an awesome favor for me and given given me some bees that will yep. hopefully produce some lava for my engines yeah, they will. You need we we'll need some stuff to set them up, but they should make oh, right. nearly infinite lava. Well, he's going to show me how to set up these bees, and we're going to get down there and get on with it. Slowly Bit floating like a leaf. <laughs> Whee! I just jumped down and got shock absorbers. Oh. All right, so I've got embittered bees, drone, apiary, oh, and the book. Let me actually open up the book and read it. I made you a brief little walkthrough on how to set it up. Okay. So you'll know exactly what we need. All right, step one, set up apiary. Step two, set up pipes. Step three, power centrifuge. Step four, pipe items into centrifuge. Step five, dirt, power squeeze. Step six, pipe lava. Okay. Yep. We don't have a centrifuge, but I have power at the location. Yeah. So the centrifuge and the squeeze are really easy to make if you've been mining for a bit. Hmm. Yeah. You have a quarry, so... C come over here. Come over here. Oh, you've got one of these crazy storage things. <laughs> <laughs> I've got... Yeah, I think you've got plenty of... Uh, I've got plenty of need. stuff. But let's check the recipe for this centrifuge. I just haven't made one recently. Yeah. I've been making loads recently. And we don't want the industrial one, we want the... Just the centrifuge, centrifuge. Oh, we need copper and a sturdy casing, which is bronze, so... Oops. The squeeze is the same recipe, except you use um, tin instead of copper. Okay. Well, let's hop over to the bunkhouse and use the... the CPU yeah. that they've got over there. Meet you there. I don't have a linking book there. Uh, you don't have a linking book? I have one at my base. Oh. There. I don't have a linking book to my base, but. Well, I hop over here so often that I just mm -hmm. carry it on me. I just keep it with me. Yeah. So we're going to macerate a whole bunch of copper in a few seconds. Yeah, those machines are awesome. They're not even fully upgraded yet. They're not. What? <laughs> no, I they're not. They were. <laughs> no, you can have a lot more overclockers in them than that. No. If you check out one of my older Hypermind videos, I actually take a tour of Slip Slipgator's base. Yeah. And he has fully upgraded overclockers machines in his. But it draws so much power. It's crazy. I thought there was a limit though. I well, I mean, if you change so if you change the config, ah, uh, right. Wait, what do I need for bronze again? Uh, three copper and one tin makes four oh. bronze. So if you brought tin over, you're fine. That's why it wasn't working. Okay. I was just trying to straight mix it one for one. And that's why it wasn't doing it. Okay, so I've got the bronze. And let's cook up a bunch of copper. And a bunch of tin. Because you said we need a squeezer too? Yeah, and the squeezer uses um, tin instead of copper. With the sturdy casing and the glass. Mmm, I didn't grab any glass. I don't have any on me. Alright. I can quickly... Maybe so it's some cobblestone. Go for it. Always have cobblestone on me. <laughs> there you go. Four glass in there. The furnace. And, oh, is that all you had? No, no, but that's all we need for now. Make a bit more. Oh, I, I see. It. Okay. One for each machine. I got you. two. There you go. There's a bit more if you need it. 
I've just been clearing out some rooms so I've got extra cobble and dirt and stuff on me. Alright, so we've got a squeezer and a centrifuge. Okay. Was there any other parts that we needed? Uh, some pipes. Other than that, we should be fine. Uh, what kind of pipes? Uh, we're going to need a few waterproof and uh, just a couple of normal ones. We're going to need one wooden normal one and one, no, two wooden, yeah, two wooden pipes and one wooden waterproof. Okay. Then a few cobblestone or stone regular pipes. I have the the regular ones. Okay. Then, depending on how far you're putting it from your tank or however you're getting it here, a few waterproof pipes as well. Mm, I do not have the waterproof ones. Okay. I've been um, using something else, actually. Oh, the liquid ducts. Yeah. They probably work fine. I just don't know how many liquid ducts I've got. Um. Oh. It's... Well, I won't know until I actually get to the mining location. If we need some more, I can get some easily because um, the bees actually make pipe waterproofing from um, honeycombs. <laughs> okay. So you think we're ready to go then? Yep. Because there should be liquid ducts on the other side. Yeah. You have some engines over there or something? You can use? <laughs> I have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm running my so, quarry um, over there, so. Here, let me yeah. throw my throw the book on the ground. Ah, uh, yes. And then as long as you don't pick it up. Yeah, I'll just use it from there. And yeah, I'll meet you I over there. Did you build this little house thing? I no. haven't seen that yet. This is a... Uh, Miscraft library slash dungeon thing. That's cool. I haven't seen that. I this, knew, I've seen your big tank of lava, but I this is a seen... tiny tank of lava. Wow. Well, yeah. So what we need to do is pipe the lava into the top. Okay. So um, I suggest we do this at a sort of safe distance. These bees are a bit aggressive. Okay. Um. Them, Let me see if I've got have. any more liquid ducts first. Yeah, I have 14 liquid ducts. Yeah, okay. Should be enough. And I've got a whole bunch of stone transport. And what else did you say we needed? Uh, some wooden transport ones as well. Okay, I've got the wooden transports. Yeah, oh, and okay. we're going to need some redstone energy conduits. Just put in a platform for you to do it on, because if I do that, they should be out of stinging range. Okay. And it be closer to where you got to pump it in. Nice. Okay, so if you put down the... one of the wooden pipes or something... Put down a side. wooden pipe? Yeah. Then put the a apiary on top of it. Oh! I see. Putting apiary on top. Mm -hmm. Right. Then, um. Oh. Do uh -huh. you have any uh, gates or redstone engines to pull it uh, out? Let me look. <clears throat> no. But I can always snag one from over here because I'm not using this machine anymore. I can just tear this apart. I'm done making sandstone for a while. Yeah. Because then you need to make it so the bees will come out of that bottom bit and they uh, breed. And then you need to put a apiarist pipe adjoined to that. The one I gave you. The one you gave me, okay. Then on the top, make it so it goes back into the apiary with a normal pipe. So stone or cobble. Okay. So if you right click on the APS pipe, it's like a diamond pipe. If you just normally right click on it. Okay. okay. Whoa! Uh, you, yeah. You see all the little X's? Yeah. If you click on them, it will cycle through and it will give you all sort of different options. 
it works similar to a diamond pipe. The ones you want are you want the white section mm -hmm. to be only bees, and you want the blue section to be only items. So no bees, any bees. Yeah, any bees in the white one, and only blue. items in the blue one. So, what I see is a B with a question mark and a yep. B with an X. That's right. And what about the now, red one? Uh, red one's closed, so okay. go down there. So basically, every, the only thing that will come out are the combs and the bees. Bees will just go straight back in, keep an infinite cycle. Nice. And then the blue ones will go to here, where we need the centrifuge. Okay. I need more dirt to build a platform. <laughs> oh. Watch out. Nah, I'm making it out of wood. That's what I got. I got a bit as well. I can hear my thunder bees here as well. I forgot about them. <laughs> <laughs> They're still here! Yeah, I need redstone. Yeah, let's put the centrifuge on there. Um, Does it matter? No, no, it doesn't matter which way it's facing. Then the combs will come in there. Then you need to attach an engine to power it. Oh, I need another engine. You need a uh, oh. regular engine to power it. Oh, I don't. Oh, I don't. And oh, oh yeah, you got your um coils or whatever they are. Yeah, I'll just bring some of that over here. Yep. You also I need to get the power of the squeezer. Okay, how do I want to run it? That's the question. I want to run it above or below? I'd run it above. Yeah, that's fine. Watch out. Yeah. If you run it above, you can get a run over the squeezer as well, because that will need to be powered. Hmm. I need to grab some cobblestone. I have some if you need it at all. Well, you can't do the holding down shift all right. building with these pipes or these conduits, so I need to build like a cobblestone bridge. Yeah. And then place the con conduits. I think I can just about see the lightning from here. <laughs> Oops. It automatically swapped out liquiducts. Hmm. Not my other redstone conduits. That was strange. Odd. Yeah, they're from the same mod, so... Kinda weird like that. Okay. That's all connected. Okay, so I'll be getting power now. Uh, next, you need to run a wooden pipe out of this on the other side or to the side or somewhere. So I do need another redstone engine. Yeah. Let me go break. It. Let me go break one... a bunch of these. Yeah. You'll need one more after that as well to draw the lava out. Okay. So you need two more redstone engines. Well, the liquid ducts I don't need to. Oh, have they a redstone draw on their engine. Own. Okay, yeah. Fine then. Okay, so what goes here is wood pipe. A wooden pipe. Then put the squeezer next to that. can run it straight from the wooden one into the squeezer, it doesn't really? need to go via yeah. So then that will put the... oh wait, I just realized there is one extra thing. Hmm. Um, it does produce an extra thing, which is refractory wax, so you do have to move it. Do you have any diamond pipes, yep. or should I go grab one? Diamond pipes. And... What do I want to do with the wax? Uh, the wax you can just stick off into a void pipe or a chest. It 
it's used to make you know tin cells and cans mm -hmm. which you can move liquid with it makes um, capsules which work the same way okay so if you want you could keep it to move lava and stuff around and I can or... stick it into the end chest over here okay yeah oh yeah because that goes to your big storage system doesn't that it goes to the ME yeah yeah the massive so then energy thing that well we are yeah we have to get it to actually produce it so we can sort it and then <clears throat> this squeezer you need to add dirt to it but since you're at require you got plenty oh. I'm assuming okay it needs uh, dirt to mix with the stuff but if you put you can fill in every slot in the squeezer inventory apart from one and it will just produce loads and then from that you just run the liquid duct to the thing and I'm going to see if I actually have some of the produce at my apiary that I can bring over if I do we can craft some up now I'll bring over a bit of the refractory wax, you can put it in the uh, sorting pipe at least. Okay. I've got a little bit of that left over. I still need another lever, which I think I may have in my box. Yep, lever. Where is it? Trying to find where your quarry is again now. Hmm. What are the coordinates in the mining world for it? Negative 200, negative 150. Okay. I've got the sprint assist on my boots, so I'll be there soon. Starve. And do you have any of those combs that we can filter? Uh, I don't have any of the combs. I have some of the wax, though, so you can put that into the pipe. Yeah, I need something to put into this diamond pipe. Yeah, I've got uh, one of the refractory wax, so... And that's what produces the lava when you squeeze it? No, the refractory wax is what makes the cells. So that's the one you need to send off to your storage. The... It's called phosphor, which makes the lava when it's squeezed with dirt. Okay. But um yeah, once it's all set up it'll have should have enough in to run for ages on its own. So there's a bit of refractory wax. And what do I do and with this? Just send it into any pipe that isn't the blue one. Oh. Then well let me grab another uh void pipe somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, you can just void it for now. You'll get loads of it. Then all these on. So is that green or yellow? I can never That's tell. That's green. That's My green. touch pack makes it very clear. Okay. Some dirt in that squeezer, and it will be good to run. All right. Oh, you haven't um, powered the squeezer yet, though. I didn't. You just no. You just need to run it off from this bit or something. There we go. That'll be fine. Okay. Then just need to get some dirt. Yep. Like I said, you can fill every slot except for one and it will produce for ages. So I can just put dirt in there? Yeah. Oh, well, I've got barrels of dirt over here. Yeah, that's that's why I'm not too worried, because right, you're at um, your quarry, you're going to have loads here. I expect you'll probably end up voiding some of it. I already am. Anyway, so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
Huge. So I'll set up a dirt transportation yeah. later. The one problem I've been trying to think of how to fill this with dirt, but the only, every time I try and think of it, it will fill it completely and not leave a slot free. Right. That's the problem is that you need a slot free to fit the phosphor in. That should all work now. Okay. So we just gotta throw the drone and the princess in and run like hell. So everything is set up and good to go. Yep, I've turned all the engines on. Well, is this one on or off? I don't know. Yeah. Let's stick it on the side. Where did it go? Okay, that's on. Alright, so if you throw the drone and the princess in there, breathe together. Later, once I get my um, all my genetic machines set up, I'll probably come back and remove the hostile part from them. But nice. I don't have that set up yet. I thought you had bred that out of them. I tried. Ooh. What's wrong? We have to move the apiary one over. It needs to be in the desert biome. We've just put it in the extreme hills biome. So, where the engine was, it needs to go. Okay. They just gotta shift it all over one. I didn't get the B. <laughs> no, I got the B. As long as one of us got the B. Got the pipe and the. So we just need to place it one over? Okay. Did you get the Aperius pipe? Uh, no, I didn't get that. Oh, it's down there. Okay. okay. And did you get the other cobble pipe? Because I have a lot of cobble it. pipe. I need one more to go back into it, and then it's done. And throw the bee back in. Throw the, do we need a <coughs> cactus? Oh no, we need never walk Thinking about it. Okay. Let's get one thing. I've got uh, quite a bit if you need it. Yeah, go ahead. Go grab it. I don't have... I haven't collected any of it. <laughs> None for me. You only need one block, so it's not too bad. And I've, I've got loads of soul sand, because I need that for other things as well. Alright, and we're back. Benito has flowers that are required by the bee. Never want and soul sand. Never want... Well, soul... Uh, Nether wart is the flower. Yeah. Okay, that's there. That and should be fine now. We just put it in and run. Oh, yeah, it's definitely still aggressive. <laughs> How much I'm damage trying, did you take? Only half a heart. I think my new armor's doing better. When I had iron armor, though, it was doing three hearts of damage. It can hurt. Yeah, it's only doing half a heart at the moment. Um, if you ever need it fixed or anything, let me know. I'll come over in my suit. And then I can get there safely without it killing me. Well, should be able to get to this How long do we game. have to wait for the combs? I'm not sure. It does take a little while sometimes. Ow. Do you have any combs we'll that we could throw too. in there and test it? I'll go check my ones back at my apiary. The problem with these ones is they keep bugging out. Bugging out? Yeah. They keep um, not sending. Oh, they keep. The apiaries here keep saying it's a hostile biome. <laughs> oh no. Even though it's perfectly fine. Well, Seems I can... to be whenever the chunk gets unloaded. Oh. Whenever there's a server reset, really. Put that back in. So I can make some impregnated frames, which should hopefully let us see some production soon. 
got to get my Wayfarer suit again. Yeah, I just wanted to have a couple of combs so we could see if the centrifuge squeeze squeezer... Yeah. Hey, it's working! I got something coming through. I don't know what Did it, it was. Just make a comb? Yeah, that's the phosphor. Phosphor. Yeah. So the, the comb's obviously working then. I've stuck three frames in there, so it should increase. And there you go, it's made lava. But the tank is full, so... Yeah. <laughs> um, if that's the case, it will just build up in this in the squeezer until the squeezer's full. And then it won't make any more, and just build up. Well, what I think I need to do is make another tank. Yeah. Make a second tank just for the B tank. Yeah, you because can do that. this lava pump is going to outproduce the bees no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> At least until the uh, ocean of lava runs dry. Yeah. This is just a uh, infinite source, but it's obviously a lot slower. Yep. You can see it creates two of those little um, sort of measurements of lava from one phosphor. Well, I had two phosphor in there. Oh, there was two in there. Uh huh. Ah, okay. Oh, here comes another one. Two. Oh yeah, it makes two per thing, so yeah. It fills up one of the little bars per phosphor then. And then each comb produces two phosphor. There you go. Alright. And this will run... The only thing you ever need to do this is add dirt, and that's... Rarely. And if anything goes wrong, you let me know, I can come over and have a look. Nice, okay. So as long as I can reach the centrifuge and the squeezer, it should be okay. Yeah, you can get here fine. And this is all chunk loaded, isn't it? Um, it is at the moment. I'm going to move the chunk loader back here and reduce okay. its size. And then I'm going to start using... Um, what are those things called? Tesseracts. Oh yeah, yeah, the tesseracts. Once I've got the tesseracts, I can put the the quarry down anywhere, and Just it'll still an get power. Tesseract. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Because so right, to make all these wires. Yeah, right now I had to put the chunk loader in the middle. Yeah, I can see it. Because it wasn't keeping the pipes in between the yeah. two loaded, so it would just uh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tesseracts aren't that hard to make, in all fairness. I ended up making one today. I was like, oh, that was a lot easier than I thought. Yep. Zul'jin and I made a couple for his his quarry setup. Yeah. A couple episodes back. Probably save your materials in the long run. Yeah. But there you go. We have your bees set up to make you lava. Then they can make you the capsules as well if you ever want. Okay. And it's, it's just putting them in a crafting table. You don't need to do anything with the wax. Same pattern as... I think it's just a straight line. Really, a straight line? Yeah. Okay. And I think we're all done. Great. Thanks for the help. No worries. Glad you had some bees already bred up. Otherwise, this would take a long time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I literally have stacks of these bees at my base. Oh, well, we should set up another another pair. I could do that. I could do that quite easily if um, basically I have stacks of the drones. So um, give me a princess of any type, I'll be able to make it into oh. one of those bees. Well, why don't you come over here and take some of my uh, princesses? Uh, oh, all the rocky ones from there. Yeah. Yeah. If you want, if you want more, I can. I can try and use these ones as well, and they'll only produce one offspring. Though, uh, actually, no, I don't have those ones. But I'll try and get them to produce only one offspring, or you might. Have yeah, it's this. It's this one right here that has all the. Ah, okay. So, how many more would you like? Um, I think three. Make it a total of four. Okay. I'll take three princesses and breed them up as well then. And I'm gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and make another lava tank. Yeah, for the bee. For so the bee lava. Yeah. Because 
they'll never f be able to put anything into that tank. It's always going to be full. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, yep. Thanks I'll a lot. Breeding, and, and then you've we'll... just got to hook them up to the setup, and it should be fine. Yep. I doubt but... it will produce too much to get clogged. Nah. But uh, I think that's going to be it for this episode. Yep. So thanks a lot, and we'll see no you worries. next time. See you guys. Bye. If you like this video, you're going to love my channel. And here are some of my previous builds. Like and subscribe.